just as an FYI, kind of what this workout's hopefully going to be if Colton can make it back. Um, I'm going to start out, we'll do a little warm up, then we'll do some arm workouts with me. We'll take a quick break, um, and then Colton is going to lead you through um, a number of chair skills that you can practice on your own at home, um, even with just a small amount of space. Um, and then after that, we'll come back together, and um, if people are interested in sharing their screen, we can play some fun games. We can play it without you sharing your screen and showing your video, but um, it'll be a little more fun if you, if you want to do that. Um, so once we get into... Uh, there he is. Um, once we get into the workout, um, please just make sure that you um, are aware of your surroundings, particularly when we're doing the chair skills pieces. Um, if you have a small amount of space, just make sure that you're not going to run into anything or fall out of your chair, that you're going at a speed that's safe for you. Um, if at any point in time, especially during these like arm workouts, um, if you feel any pain, please just stop what we're doing um, and just, um, uh, just take a quick break. Um, this workout is your workout. We're not gonna, um, you know, no one's gonna be upset if you aren't able to sort of participate um, at the same speed or, or doing anything that we're doing. It's your workout, you, you get from it what you want. Um, so with that, I'm gonna start my timer here. Um, and then, um, sorry, I'm just gonna mute for a second because I'm hearing some echoing. Um, I'm gonna start my timer here and then I'm gonna, I've got a short little playlist just because I find it easier to do my arm workouts uh, to the beat of some music. Um, I've got some 90s uh, music that I've put together on this little playlist here. So, um, so we'll get started, just do some arm rolls, some shoulder circles, backwards, we'll go forwards. We'll kind of move our arms back and forth, just do some horizontal jacks with your arms. All right. So now, if you have that weight with you, we're gonna work unilaterally. So we're just gonna do one arm at a time. Um, so grab your weight into your right arm. If you don't have your weight, body weight's totally fine. Sometimes that's even better. Um, your weight shouldn't be too heavy. Three or five pounds is probably your max. For one of doing high reps, um, high intensity, low weight is totally fine. So start with your arm facing out, um, not like in towards here, up like this. And we're gonna just do a bicep curl. So down, up, down, up. Or as I said, we're gonna go to the beat of the music. Um, if this is too fast for you at any point in time, just slow it down. Um, totally fine. This is your workout. We're gonna do each move here for about 45 seconds to one minute, um, and then we'll switch it up. Down, up down, up. In about 10 seconds, we're going to rotate that arm in so that your hand is um, rotated in towards your body. One. All right, so in, up. And again, we're going full range of motion here. Our next move, we're going to just do half bicep curls, basically. So we'll go half up and then half down. Sorry, trying to do all this while I'm still letting Colton in. So keep going. Down, up, down, up. Looking great, everyone. Um, and again, if you're feeling any sort of like burnout, um, it's better to just drop your weight and keep moving than to exit the workout. In about 10 seconds, we'll switch and we're gonna do a half up. Four, three, two, one. So down, and then you're gonna only go to a 90 degree. So down, up, down, up. So once you hit that 90 degree with your arm, you're gonna stop. It's totally cool to check out your own biceps while you're doing this. You know, sometimes it's nice to check out your arms. Totally fine. 
down, up, down, up. Looking good, everyone. All right, so in about 10 seconds, we're gonna switch to, we're gonna go up and then halfway down. Four, three, two, one. So it's up, down. And again, you're gonna stop when you hit that 90 degrees. Um, this really helps you from sort of not just like swinging your arm using that gravity. Um, so it's really nice. And part of the reason we're doing just one at a time today is because sometimes it's really good to work out your arms one at a time or your muscle groups sort of one side at a time um, because it's nice to know kind of which one's your more dominant arm, which one's your more dominant leg. Some of you may know this a little bit, but um, sometimes it's just a good reminder, to know which ones we need, which groups we need to work on. All right, so in five, we're gonna go to a shoulder press. Three, Two, oh, we're gonna just stop with the music because it's messing up. So one, all the way up. If you can't go all the way up with your shoulder, if you have some limited mobility, that's totally fine. Go as far as you can um, and, you know, just stop there. Definitely don't injure yourself while you're doing this. Um, we wanna make sure that you come out of this clinic uh, still feeling healthy and safe. It's, the goal is to make you better, not, not injure yourself. So down, up, down, up. And again, this is too fast for you. Feel free to slow it down. If you're, uh, you know, using, if you're feeling some shoulder burnout, don't worry, I'm feeling it too. We're gonna switch to a bicep curl to shoulder press in five, four, three, two, one. So down, up, all the way up. So bicep curl, shoulder press. One, two, three, four. Let me let someone else in. Keep doing that. Sorry, keep going. All right. Four, one, two, three, four. All right. And then once we are done with this one, we're gonna move that weight into the other arm. And we're just gonna do the whole thing all over again on the left side. So. Do that five, three, two, and one. Great job, everyone. Shake out that shoulder. Give yourself a quick break. And then we're gonna do that all over on the other side. So remember, we started with our hands facing outward. Then we went inward. Then we did half up, half down, shoulder press, bicep curl to shoulder press. So we're doing the whole thing again on the left-hand side. So in four, three, two, one, hands up, full bicep curl. Up, 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 great job. Um, so again, if this is too fast, if you know, maybe like me, your right-hand side is a lot uh, stronger than your left-hand side, uh, sometimes, it's a lot harder for me to keep up on this side, so definitely just feel free to take breaks as you can. We're going to switch over to the um, hammer curl or, you know, facing your arm in in about five, four, three, two, one. All right, so rotate that in. Again, if you can't rotate um, these different ways while we're doing this, just do your uh, bicep curls in whatever way is most comfortable to you. Up. Up, up, and if you're at home and maybe you don't have this hand weight, um, I know it was hard for me to get one during quarantine at Target. Uh, they were definitely out of them. This is the only one they had. Um, you know, you can use a water bottle. I've used a heavy book. Be careful about that. They're kind of hard to grip, but um, there's lots of options for you. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna start that half up. So. Five, four, three, two, and one. So remember, you're gonna go down and then half. So 90 degree bend. Sorry, it's kind of hard, but you don't wanna go more than 90 degrees here. We're kind of isolating these muscle groups. Up, up, up. And sorry about my music selection. My Spotify cue kind of messed up here. 
it felt like it was more important to continue the workout than to play the 90s playlist that I had planned for you. In about 15 seconds, we're halfway done with this one. We're gonna switch to all the way up and halfway down. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, halfway down, up, down. All right, I can't see most of you, but I'm gonna assume that you are rocking it right now and that you are feeling the burn of this workout. You've got about a minute and a half left. So you've made it this far, then you're gonna get a nice break and Colton's gonna lead you through some great chair workouts. So you got about 15 seconds left in this exercise. Then we're gonna go to that shoulder press and then we're gonna put it all together. So in about five, four, three, two, one, shoulder press. Up, 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 up. Keep going. Great job. Sometimes on this side, I find it easier to kind of balance myself with this little cheerleader pose. Um, <laughs> You definitely don't have to make yourself look like this, but um, all right, in, looking good. We're about halfway done with this. And then remember, we're going bicep curl to shoulder press. I know your shoulders are feeling sore. Again, if on this side, you're not able to go all the way up, that's totally fine. Um, just go as far as you can. We don't wanna cause you any injuries. In about 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Almost done, guys. 45 more seconds. We've got this. You've come this far. Don't let us down now. All right. I'm feeling it with you. Don't worry. I'm getting sweaty in this office. All right. Down, up. Down, up. And in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, everyone. Roll out those shoulders, do a couple more stretches, and I'm gonna turn it over to Colton to lead you through some chair exercises. Are you ready, Colton? I think I can hear you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you guys. Nobody? Okay. Um, all right. So, Carolyn, what is the first activity that you've got ready for us? Uh, are you doing your power, power bursts? Yes. That would be correct. Want to make sure I have the right schedule. All right. <laughs> so when you guys are doing this, it's going to be a three push power push. Basically going to be start, like if you have a wall behind you or if you're on like a patio like me, you're going to want to go to the very edge of it facing across. And then you're going to get three really hard pushes. As soon as you get to the end of that third push or limit of however much space you might have, you're gonna to wanna to stop as quick as you can, and you're gonna push backwards, pull back, kind of rewind to that same spot you were in, and then do it again. We're gonna do this for about a minute and a half nonstop. It's gonna be tiring, but we're gonna get through it. And if you, like me, are in a really small space, as you can tell, I can maybe do one push to get to the, my desk and one push before I hit these. Just do what you have in your space. If you don't have any space at all, just do the arm movements. We really just wanna um, get into the, these movements, these workouts. Um, and once you've got more space, you know, sometimes our internet access doesn't allow us to you know, do these in our driveway or whatever, you can practice it on your own as well. So, all right guys, I'm gonna start the timer. We're gonna get started. So we're gonna go for the full minute and a half. Ready and go.
So really what we're practicing here, guys, as you're doing this, is kind of this idea of getting off the line, right? So a lot of football is sort of stopping and then starting really fast. So um, we want to practice kind of that movement, that motion, that um, just getting used to that, right? So stopping, going, and then starting too. So um, it's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, what we're going to focus on here, guys, is to make sure when you are doing your pushes, make sure that you keep good form in your upper body when you're doing it. Make sure you keep your elbows in tight and push down through your wheel. And then this is a good one to work on your back strength because you're going to be leaning forward when you push. And then you got to come to a stop really quick. So make sure that you lean up, sit up just as fast as you can, grab a hold of your wheels, get a hard stop in. You don't have any blisters by the time we're done and we didn't work hard enough, right? All right, so we hit our minute and a half. So next up, Carolyn, do you remember what the next one is? I don't turns. Know. Oh, that's right. All right, guys. So next up is going to be quarter turns. So this is going to be something that's going to help you work on your chair skills along with the power pushes. So basically, you're going to be starting facing the camera. And then as you go, about every three seconds, you're going to want to time yourself. You're going to want to do a quarter turn, so 90 degrees. Keep your hands on your wheels the whole time. And then as soon as you hit that torrent, then you go back and you're gonna go back to the opposite direction. So you're gonna wanna work on your speed in this. Make sure you're going as fast as you can. Keep your hands on your wheels. Try not to let them slip. Work on your grip strength a little bit. Make sure that uh, don't go banging into your desk or your walls or anything. Tear up your space that you're in, but do the best you can with the limitations that you have. So we're going to do this one also for a little bit longer. It's not quite as taxing. So let's say two minutes. We're going to go ahead and get that started. So make sure that you're going all the way to one side. You're going all the way back. So hands on your wheels. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Make sure you try and make that turn all in one powerful move. Try not to do multiple pushes to get there. Try to do one sweep all the way to and from. Colton's clearly the expert. I'm still learning everyone. And if you don't have a chair with you, um, definitely just keep doing some arm movements. Um, maybe do some jacks. Maybe, you know, whatever's going to work for you um, so that you're staying active during this workout. You're definitely going to feel the burn during this. We got about a minute left, 45 seconds. So keep going for me. Here in a minute, we're going to have some real fun. We're going to go ahead and combine those power pushes and the quarter turns all in one. See if we can't really make Carolyn sore by the end of this. <laughs> I think I've got the half turn, half of the quarter turn. I don't know if I'm getting the full quarter turn yet, but I'm also a little nervous about ruining these adapt at home boxes. <laughs> All right, guys, so there's our two minutes. So let's go ahead and we're going to combine those power pushes and the quarter turns all in one before we move on to some real fun ones. So next up, we're going to just do one or two pushes for the power push. You know, uh, make sure that you uh, adapt it however you need to for the space that you're in. But you're going to do like one full push and then you're going to go straight from that once you stop into your turn. So I'm going to try and get my camera turned where you can see me. So 
one push, stop. When you do you turn, when you go back, you're gonna do it all one more time. You're gonna try and continue that motion just as quick as you can. So Colton, if someone is new to this and they've, you know, what are some tips you might have for um, maybe hand placement or just kind of working on speed, that kind of stuff? Uh, the biggest one on hand placement is going to be don't just grab your rim. So you guys know, you know, when you're looking at the wheel, you have both your hand rim, and then you have your tire and the wheel itself. Don't be what we like to call a rim pusher. Don't just grab the rim. So you're gonna to wanna to get your hands dirty and tear them up a little bit. You're gonna to want to wrap your fingers around the hand rim and put kind of your thumb and the bottom of your palm on the tire itself. That's gonna give you a lot stronger grip strength versus just grabbing that rim. And then speed wise, I don't really know. The best thing to work on, honestly, is just having the, uh, get your conditioning in, make sure that you're able to keep pushing. Because, I mean, you can be as fast as you want, but if you can only do it for 30, 40 yards, then you're not going to get very far. So just uh, resistance bands are a good one for speed and strength. If you can, if you have a local gym or if you have a weight set at home with either something heavy you can just drag behind you or a weight sled, then you can use those resistance bands and that really helps you work on your arm speed, your hand speed, uh, pull those behind you and do some stops and starts with those. Awesome. Let's do a couple more and then we'll move into what I think might be a little tougher workout here. <laughs> we'll do a couple more of those combos. So get just one or two more in and then we will go on and get on some burners. All right, so with the burners, there is going to be uh, a little more space requirements. So if you're not able to do them with something else, then I completely understand that it requires, like I said, a little more space. But So like I have here, I have a lawn chair. Make sure I get to where you guys can see it all right. So what a burner is gonna be is you're gonna sit on one side of the chair. And then as you come out, you're gonna back away. And then you're gonna spin away from the chair and push all the way to this other side stop and set up and you're going to do it all over again and you want to make sure that you keep your hands and you want to make that turn all one smooth motion so you're going to back up then you're going to spin the long way and then you're going to do one smooth push into the other side you want to do that as fast as you can it doesn't matter how long you've been playing or what you've played be stuck so everyone go ahead and do the best you can with the space you have and uh, whatever equipment you might have handy. If you don't have a chair to kind of go around, then just do your best to kind of envision, you know, even if you have a football or a book, like Carol said earlier, a water bottle, something you can put kind of in the middle just to keep, keep yourself going around, keep a guide there. So these being a little tougher, we're only going to do them for about a minute. Get my timer started. So go ahead and get started on those guys and We'll do those for as long as we can. You don't get a little dizzy, you're not doing them quick enough.
All right, guys, you are getting close to the minute, so keep going for me. Get one or two more in there. All right, so we hit our minute. Good job, everybody. Next. If you guys are in a sports chair and you have click straps of any kind or anything like that, go ahead and undo those for me. If you are in a day chair with no straps or anything, that's even better. So last thing we're going to do after we take a little bit of a break, catch your breath, then we are going to work on some dips. Uh, kind of variable timing. We're going to go some longer, some shorter. Some we're going to try and work more of your hand strength. Some we're going to stick to your triceps. So go ahead and catch your breath, get a drink of water, all that, get your straps off and we will get started on our dips here in just a minute. So while we are taking a break and everybody is uh, catching a, a drink and breath, any of you guys that do have your keyboards or your phones handy, if you want to drop in the chat where you're from, I'd be happy to know. We can, if you don't know, we can talk about the closest team to you. And if you're experienced, go ahead and let us know. We'd love to know anything you're willing to tell us. How's your grandma doing? What you had for lunch today? You know, we're just happy to visit with anybody and everybody. We got a quiet group here, I think, Colton. <laughs> That's, That's all right. MJ's got a picture on his. He kind of looks like a friendly guy. Challenge by choice. No worries. So, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on the dips. So to get started, we're just going to everybody shake your arms out a little bit. Go ahead. If you're in a chair, grab your wheels and your hip. If you have hip guards, uh, side guards, whatever you want to call them, go ahead and grab those with the wheels. Kind of get them all in one big hand grip. If you aren't in a chair uh, and you don't have one handy, then feel free to try and use a couch or like a just a kitchen chair, anything around you that you can kind of get your arms underneath you. You're just going to lift up. You're going to want to hold yourself up as high as you can. We're going to do this for about 15 seconds. So just going to get everything kind of loosened up. You can bounce around a little bit. If you want to stretch, use your head, stretch your neck, whatever works. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so after you do those, we're going to go ahead. Now we're going to not only just hold yourself, but we're going to keep up. Um, we are going to lift ourselves up, and then you're going to bring yourself all the way back down. We're going to do about 10 reps. So you go all the way up. All the way down, there's one. We're gonna do 10 of those. So you don't have to go fast by any means. Um, if you can let yourself down, back down into your seat slower, that's an even better workout. So go ahead and start those for me. Count for yourself. So we'll go one, two, three, Four. Go ahead and make sure when you get to the top, you guys extend your shoulders all the way. It's going to feel like a reverse shoulder shrug. Come all the way back down. You're going to feel the burn right up here. That's your, uh, I don't know what the actual term is. I've always heard them called traps. Um, so, you know, whatever, if anybody's a human body expert, skeletal, skeletal muscular, then feel free to let me know because I don't have any idea what the actual name is. But once you get to 10, if you want to do a couple more, go ahead. If you are done, go ahead and stretch it all out. There's mine. So anybody that's feeling extra ambitious, if you have like a sturdy chair around you, then you can kind of go 
all the way up. And then you can try and twist, work your core strength a little bit. So you can go all the way up. Make sure you extend those shoulders. And then you're gonna to wanna to use your core and try and twist your shoulders as close to 90 degrees if you can. So sometimes like right now, my, the lower half of my chair is kind of restricting my turn. So I'm sure some of you guys have the same thing. Just turn as much as you can. So like I can go to here and then my frame of my chair stops me. So make sure you engage all of your lats back here, engage your obliques, all of your abdominal muscles. Make sure you get as much in as you can with the space and function that you do have. So do as many of those as you can, get up to about 10 or so if possible. Oh, once you guys get there, I'll give everybody another minute or two here. Keep going guys, you're doing great. All right, everybody, that was a great job. I think that is about all I've got for chair skills and strength stuff. So I'm gonna hand it back to Carolyn. She's gonna get us finished up. And again, thank you guys for working along with me. Thanks so much, Colton. Um, I think those are awesome. I'm definitely gonna be practicing my turns here in my office for the rest of the day. Um, as I said, I think, you know, if you didn't have some space here, um, definitely take your chair out to your driveway or wherever you've got some space and, and practice on those skills. So um, if you guys want to turn on your cameras, um, we're going to finish with a game that might be a little more fun to play if you um, if we have them on. But if not, it's totally fine. Again, challenge by choice. <laughs> uh, basically, we're going to give you about a two minute break, grab some water again get a little bit, catch a breath, all that stuff. I'm definitely, it's warm here in DC today, so definitely need some water here. Um, but what we're gonna do is basically, I am gonna take this football and you're gonna kind of follow along similarly to Simon says, but uh, you don't have to listen for the Simon. So you're gonna go kind of as far back as you can. And you're gonna hear me say left, or right, although I'm realizing I'm probably mirrored on your screen. I'm not sure if this is right for you. I can pull off my teacher skills, don't worry. I know the opposite. I taught kindergarten for a little while. So right, left, forward, and back basically. So you're just gonna kind of listen for the directions, move around, um, and we'll just finish that out kind of for the next couple of minutes. Um, and that's how we're gonna end the clinic. So. Uh, again, we'll, we'll give you another minute or so to catch your breath. I'm going to click myself back into the chair. Maybe. There we go. All right. And. Sorry, forgot that I was teacher mode for a second. Left. Do you move? Right. Left, left, right, forward, back, back, left, right, back, forward, forward, left, left, right, back, forward, back, left, left. Oh, I switched myself up. <laughs> I got confused. All righty, gang. That's where we're going to end it today. 